I have bought a motorcycle lift table. I should be pretty ecstatic about it, but I'm not. Or half of me is uh, really satisfied. I always wanted one. This one is uh, bought locally here. It is uh, 105 kilos, can lift 450 kilos, so it's quite uh, heavy duty, should be decent. But um, I had decided to build one myself. And I want, always wanted to have a scissor lift table, you know, the ones that goes like this. They seem to be more sturdy. This is not a scissor table. This has these arms that tilts up like this. Feels they are a bit more wiggly. Not sure. And if I built it myself, I could make it exactly so it fits into a spot I have here in my garage. This one doesn't really fit. It's actually too long to the spot I have. So maybe I could chop it down. It was on sale. Normally it cost uh, 7,000 Norwegian kroner. Now it was on sale for 5,000. That's pretty cheap for such a heavy duty lift table. It'd be much more expensive to build it myself, buying steel and wheels and hydraulics and uh, welding it at least on all the work. But uh, well, I hope I get pleasantly surprised. But I am afraid I will be like, yeah, just uh, it's okay and uh, maybe not even okay. Maybe it's, uh, it, it doesn't live up to my expectations. One half of me is uh, very satisfied for not doing another DIY project. Uh, I get, never get done with my motorcycle project because I always make up new DIY projects, making stuff like... Uh, yeah, like this idea making my own table. So now at least that is off the table. At least for a while. This will be my table. Maybe I'll do something with the wheels. Because the wheels on this, uh, they seem to be pretty small, tiny. I would like to be able to move the table around with the mot motorcycle on it. And uh, then put it into its uh, spot where I plan to store it when not using it. And I've, yeah, so maybe I can upgrade the wheels on it and maybe I can make it a tiny bit shorter so it fits into my small space. Maybe I will be just thrilled over having, finally having a lift table because crawling around on uh, the floor, at least uh, when doing uh, repairs very low on the bike, it's a hassle, you know. So yeah, I think, uh, I hope, I will be happy using this table. I should be more excited, shouldn't I? Okay. Just as I thought, my lift table is a couple of centimeters, about one inch too long, or should I say my slot here, where I want to park it, is too narrow. But instead of shopping off my lift table, maybe it's better to try to move these uh, tables a bit closer to the staircase so I can free up about four inches, 10 centimeters. So I have a bit of a wiggle room here to put the lift table into there. So I think I'll try just to chop off this corner of this table. Yeah. And uh, that is the beauty of making your own furniture in the workshop. You can just chop it uh, and modify it as you like. All of my tables are self-made. And I made a bonus solution. I added this uh, peculiar strange shelf so I can put away my bender, my sheet uh, bender. Finally, I have a spot for that tool. And I want to build a shelf as well. Just need to get some more material, 
but this is a sidetrack. Let's take a look at the space I've freed up. Yes, I have now 3 inches, approximately 8 centimeters of available space. I should be able to fit my table now into the corner. I have, by the way, modified my rear stand as well, so it's a bit shorter now. So now I can fit the whole bike on top of the... That is pretty nice! Now I can put away my motorcycle and my lift table here in the corner when I'm not going to work on it. And when I'm going to continue my build, then I can easily bring it into my workshop. This is just so great! I just love this uh, motorcycle lift table. I've dreamt about having a lift table for so many years. But uh, now, finally, I don't have to lay uh, crawling around the floor anymore. I can work on my bike much more convenient. Yes, this would be great. And I made a list of all the positive things about uh, what I've found with this uh, lift table and reasons for why you should buy it, or either, the, either this exact model or maybe a similar one, if you can find one. So, uh -huh. not so fast there. Um, I have actually also a list, similar list as you have, except I have reasons for why you should not buy this uh, uh, crappy, terrible, lousy, motorcycle lift table and the first reason easy to understand the wheels you could hear the sound when uh, i was uh, moving this lift table around these wheels are um, cast steel they are hard no ball bearings on them just directly on the axle they are small it's terrible to move this lift table around. These are not good wheels for, for moving the lift table. But uh, yeah, it is possible to move it, but I don't think it's uh, meant to move it with the bike on. Okay, okay, I hear you. Uh, it was funny you mentioned the wheels because uh, I have as a positive note here that it's uh, movable. Uh, that actually it is wheels on it, because I've seen a lot of these without wheels at all, both the cheaper and more expensive models. So I think it's nice that there are wheels uh, to it, and it is absolutely uh, possible to move it around, even though, yeah, okay, it's a bit uh, hard when the motorcycle is on there. Maybe it's meant just for moving it uh, when it's not load on it. I'm not sure. But uh, okay, it's it's better than not having uh, mm. at all. So I think it's nice. It's movable. Yeah, okay, it's nice. But another problem, maybe a bigger problem, uh, the front wheel shock. What you um, um, roll your uh, bike into to fasten it, and that is just useless. It's too small. It doesn't hold the bike uh, sideways. So you need to be two persons here want to tie down this and another one to support it back here. Um, yeah, this one is too small, not very good. Should be a completely different uh, uh, front wheel shock on the uh, on this uh, <clears throat> okay. table. Uh, loading, unloading is my next positive item here because uh, I would say it was very easy to get the bike uh, onto the table. This is the, um, what's it called? Approach ramp. What you drive up on mm. and it's really sturdy and wide. No problem at all. And also the table goes very low at the lowest position. So you don't have to like uh, speed up to get up the hill here. It's, it's uh, quite flat. So yeah, I would say that is uh, very positive. Easy to get the bike uh, on and off uh, alone without uh, needing help. Okay, but 
a much bigger problem than the two previous I had is this table top. This makes uh, this lift table, not to say useless, but very bad. It's black, it's dark. You don't want a dark surface. You want it to be bright to be able to see what you're working on. This pattern, what you see here, well, what you need that for? It's just in the way. It's harder to clean. If you're going to move things around, it's just in the way. And uh, perhaps what I dislike most is this edge here, bent upwards. Why? It should be bent downwards. This is just uh, hurting your arms if you're going to lean on it. If you're going to move stuff away here, let's say you drop the motor and you, then you need to lift it over this. This, this tabletop, no good. Okay, okay, yeah. You don't like the tabletop? Well, um, my next bullet point here is that it is upgradable. I think uh, this table, if you want to do some modifications to it, it's rather easy because it's sturdy, mm -hmm. uh, it's metal, uh, I can weld, so it's easy to weld on like new brackets, for instance, and put on bigger wheels, if, if that is uh, uh, one improvement you want to do. It is possible to um, replace this, it's just buying a new shock, really, um, or make one yourself. It's uh, several holes here already, probably just put on a better one. It's, you can paint it. In, in a brighter color, uh, even uh, if you use epoxy paint, you maybe just fill up this and then, then this pattern will disappear. Weld on an uh, angle the uh, iron here, maybe cut off this. It's uh, starting to get a bit work, of course, if you're gonna redo everything, but it's absolute a good starting point for uh, upgrading it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Upgrade, so it's nothing left, is it, of the original one? Well, what about upgrading the height of it? Because the maximum height is 27 inch, 70 uh, centimeter, and um, that's just too low, isn't it? Um, if this w w was possible to get up to 90 centimeters, then it could be um, a table that could be multi-purpose. Now it's too low to use for anything else. So I wish it could go higher. Um, I must say it actually goes up to 80 centimeters, 30 inches. But when you're putting in this uh, pole to hold it into position, it drops. Okay. Uh, my next positive note is actually the lift mechanism that I found very good, very easy to use. And I can show you these uh, pedals. They are also heavy duty, really sturdy, easy to attach, and uh, you don't need to put a lot of force on it. Very easy to, to um, lift it up and to lower it down. So I really liked the construction, the mechanism here for lifting it. It feels simple uh, built, but um, uh, sturdy and well thought of how, how it's designed. So I really liked uh, that. Yeah, okay. But do you like the way uh, you lock it into position? Because that is my next item here. I'm not happy about this. This um, stick that you put in there, it has only two positions. So there are just two heights you actually can use for this one. One is, like I said, the topmost position, 27 inch, 70 centimeters. The second one is 19 inch, that's 50 uh, centimeter, so that's approximately here. So yeah, I really wish there were several steps there. Also, I've seen other lift table have some kind of quick release, so you can just uh, yeah, you have a, a lot of step and you just uh, have a lever to to release it. Okay, not happy about that one. My next uh, bullet point is quality rigidity. It feels really sturdy. Uh, I thought maybe these uh, parallel arms um, compared to this scissor lift that uh, maybe it wasn't uh, sturdy, but uh, now I have put on these uh, legs here so uh, the wheel is not touching the ground. And I must say, you, this is very rigid. 
Um, yeah, so uh, maybe it's not that rigid at the end there because uh, it's, a, it's a longer tail or what to say there. But um, yeah, I would say uh, the quality feels good. Uh, of course, I haven't used it for, for a long period, so I can't say how this will be in one or two or three or five years. But uh, my first impression, impressions at least, is positive. I feel like this will hold uh, if you take care of it. Mm. Yeah, mm. maybe it will, but it's just something about this design, this uh, parallel legs uh, design that I don't like compared to the scissor lift model where you have this uh, more like balanced uh, setup. Because here, when I'm now tilting this down, it likes, it's leaning forward and the weight is very much at the front end. And um, so like, like it's, uh, it's some kind of unbalanced. And I think also with, uh, with a scissor style lift table, you have more like um, the possibility to get it higher. I think. And it also lifts more like straight up and down instead of this one where you, it's tilting forward. So yeah, it's it's just the this kind of design is absolutely not not my not my favorite. I can't say mm -hmm. I can't say anything okay. more. Then I, I just don't like it. Maybe you're right. Maybe a scissor table would be even yes more rigid, mm. higher quality, yep. better design than no, this, talking. maybe. But uh, from what I have seen, they are also a lot more expensive, maybe four times the price for this. So you can buy four of these for one scissor lift table, is what I have seen. And uh, so if you take price compared to what you get, uh, both quality and usability, you got a lot, m much more buck for your, no, forget it. Uh, you got much more um, out of uh, the money you yeah. pay for this. <laughs> that was also not very well put. We understand. Um, f oh, anyway, this is great value. Yeah, exactly. I would say. Yeah. And um, also, these are sold in a retail store here in Norway, all over Nordic. Jula is the name of the retail store. So it's easy to pick up, no shipping cost. Um, if, if your local store doesn't have it, it's just ask and they will get it in a couple of days. And uh, they had me put it on my uh, trailer. Uh, service was great. Unboxing, the crate was uh, good. Um, the packaging, no damage. Okay. So well. the whole buying experience and the convenience, getting it home, everything was great. And uh, yeah, I would say I'm just sitting here with a positive feeling. I think this will be a great table. Maybe you don't need this scissor table. Um, absolutely. I think maybe some upgrades, maybe not even that. I am thrilled over having a table like this. So I think maybe you just should buy a table like that, this, if you don't have one already. Or maybe not. Just buy a scissor table. It's, it's much better than this, I, I think. Okay. I think that. I think we just have to agree that we are disagreeing, but we can agree on one thing, and that is uh, thanking the uh, viewer here for uh, taking a peek uh, at the, my video here, our video. Yeah, yeah, sorry. And if you have any opinion here, especially about scissor table um, compared to this parallel leg table, uh, if you have any experience, um, and what do you think? I think this is decent. I don't. Let me hear what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice evening, uh, morning, afternoon. I don't know. Bye bye.